Good morning everybody. Today is the 7th of October 2020. Today is Wednesday. Right now, I am with the 10 Cambridge class. My name is Farhan Mazar and the subject we are going to study is Physics 5054. Uh, we are in the chapter of light. So, we are studying basically the chapter of light and we are almost about to complete it. The, today's um, main purpose of today's lesson is that we have, in our last lesson, we have learned what is refraction and we have learned the laws of refraction. Today, we will further study the refraction. Suppose you have a semicircular glass block. For example, here I have a semicircular glass block. Okay? So I will draw this figure, mm, let's say four times. Suppose here I draw this figure four times. It's a semi, it's the same semicircular glass block which I have drawn four times. Okay? Suppose this is the middle point of its diameter. This is the midpoint of the diameter. This is the midpoint of the diameter. Here I have the midpoint of the diameter. And it's a imaginary line. This dotted line means the normal. This dotted line means the normal which is with this surface. It's a semicircular glass block. It's a semicircular glass block. And this dotted line is basically normal. Normal means it makes 90 degree angle with the surface here. Okay, we will take a torch, we will take a laser and the light of the laser, I will direct the light of the laser through this glass on this point. One point which you should understand is when the light entered here, when the light entered here, the light was making 90 degree angle with the surface of the glass. When the light entered into the semicircular glass block, it was making 90 degree angle with the surface of the glass. And we have learned in our previous lesson, when the light enters into another medium and makes 90 degree angle with the surface of the glass, the path of the light do not change. The light do not deviate, it goes undeviated. It follows its original path. So now, the light entered into the glass block without any deviation, without any change of path. Then the light will enter from glass into air and we have learned that when the light will enter from a dense medium into a rare medium, it will be bending away from the normal. So when this will enter, it will deviate and it will, this is the angle of refraction and this is the angle of incidence. When the light emerged from air into the air, this is the behavior of the, of the light that the light will bend away from the normal. Understand? So this will happen. Okay. Now come to this figure. So this is, let me say, angle of incidence number one, angle of refraction number one. Okay. Now, I will move this laser light little towards left. So when I will move the light little towards left, you know what will happen? The angle of incidence 
the angle of incidence will become larger in the second figure you see what i have done i have moved the laser light little towards left when i do this the angle of incidence in the glass will increase this i2 will be more than i1 the angle of incidence has become larger simple when you do this the angle of refraction also becomes larger the light when entered into the glass here remember it was making 90 degree angle this i draw a tangent this was making 90 degree angle with the surface of the glass that's why it do not deviate you understand now so if i move the laser light or light source or torch further towards left in other words if i will continue increasing the angle of incidence so let's see what will happen when you will continue increasing the angle of incidence i mean you will continue moving this laser light towards left what will happen on a certain on a certain on a certain angle of incidence the light the angle of refraction will become equal to 90 degree you understand what i am saying if you move this laser light towards left so what will happen so what will happen uh the when you will increase the angle of incidence further on a certain angle of incidence what will happen the this angle of refraction because this is bended 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 and at certain angle of incidence this angle of refraction will become negative when the angle of refraction in the rare medium becomes 90 degree you see the light is not and it is traveling on the surface of the glass the light emerged and it starts traveling on the boundary of the glass and the air the angle of refraction is 90 You see, when the light enters from dense medium into rare medium, the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction in the rare medium is of ninety degree, that angle of incidence is called critical angle. this angle of incidence in the dense medium is given a special name and that is critical angle so what is critical angle critical angle is that the angle of incidence in the dense medium whose corresponding angle of refraction in the rare medium is of 90 degree you see angle of incidence in the dense medium whose angle of refraction in the rare medium is right angle that angle of incidence is called critical angle and it is represented with c and a cap on it you understand what's the critical angle okay and let's suppose you move the laser light further further towards the light So now what you are doing you have further increased the angle of incidence you have further increased the angle of incidence you have made it more more than the critical angle this time the angle of incidence i4 is more than the critical angle if you more if you move the laser light further to the left 
the angle of incidence will increase. Now, if the angle of incidence will increase, it will become larger than the critical angle. When the angle of incidence becomes larger than the critical angle, then what happens? The line is bended so much that this happens. So you see, instead of line,